the number one in the world. There are things that it's okay to take a decade on and not deliver. The Avatar sequels, for instance. <laughs> take your time on those, James Cameron. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I will give anyone in this audience a thousand dollars right now if they remember either of these characters' names. <laughs> Exactly. 2014 present when fans of Jon Stewart's The Daily Show were looking for a new voice of reason. When he retired in 2015, John Oliver was there. The only possible reason you should be fired from your job after your wedding is if your theme was stolen office supplies. <laughs> That's the only logical reason. But it, it is true that discriminating against gay people is surprisingly legal in much of the country. The fact is, in 31 states, People are at risk of being fired, evicted, or refused service just because they're gay. Who won an Emmy for his work on The Daily Show, now serves as host of his own popular weekly primetime show on HBO. Poor, uh, and rose from selling tea on railway platforms in Gujarat to running that state and eventually the entire country. His election in 2014 was actually the subject of our very first show, back when he looked the same and I looked 30 years younger. <laughs> and, and can, can I just say... If this is happening because someone is slowly poisoning me, please do it faster. It has been nominated for, and has won, a number of awards. We'd like to thank HBO, uh, Plepler, Casey, especially Nina, for their constant support. They've been incredible. Whether we want to do a story about trade policy or buy Russell Crowe's jockstrap. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Liz Stanton and Tim Carvel, who are the backbone of the show. My wife, Kate, is my personal backbone. Uh, I love you very much, and our children, uh, Grayson, Ella, Emmett, uh, Hudson, and Marlo, uh, we love you very much. After you are all I'm happy.